So Janet Judgey Bitch Bloomfield, responded to my Janet Bloomfield on trial video series, she responded to these videos, on her blog, and let me tell you, she made an ass out of me, and boned me pretty hard. No, she really didn't, she, at best rambled nonsensically, and at worst kind of pwned herself, at least she admits she didn't bother to watch the videos, unlike Dean Ismay who writes a fucking novel in the comment section putting his foot in his mouth and then later admits, what was painfully obvious, that he didn't even bother to watch the video professor know it all was responding to, so she at least has that going for her, I'm not going to make this video too long, I am just going to go over a few parts and respond. I was planning on agreeing with everything he said, as a flummoxing technique to highlight the absurdity of his apparent arguments. So she had planned on just agreeing with all accusations brought against her, to highlight their absurdity, okay, um, Janet when you're already a confusing self-contradicting nut, you might not want to rely on snark and sarcasm to convey a point, even when you are trying to be serious, you come off as a confusing pathological lying dingbat, you might want to avoid sarcasm and parody, seriously? What is up with people thinking sarcasm and snark equals an argument? He sent me an email that scrolled over pages and pages and pages and once I passed the you're a bully and a cunt part of the message, I was less than inspired to give this person any more of my time. If I hurt your feelings by calling you a cunt, I'm really sorry, that was unprofessional of me, and I really didn't intend on hurting your feelings. That's true I did say that, calling her a cunt and about her being a bully, but let me give you the context, she said something along the lines of I will not bow down to the bullies in your audience, and hope you won't either, and I, in my long private message response to her, brought up this statement of hers, and gave a bit of mid-toe philosophy, that we are harsh, we don't pull any punches, we sugarcoat nothing, and will straight up pwn stupidity and dishonesty because we value truth and knowledge, I ended by saying MIGTO are bullies, I am a bully, you are a bully, welcome to the fray, cunt, or something like that, and I said that because it felt like to me, she was possibly trying to damsel in distress, you know, calling the audience, you people, bullies, and I called her out on that shit, but whatever, just wanted to give context to that statement. A man who makes the decision to marry after assessing the risks and the probabilities specific to his own situation is still going his own way. No, everyone who makes a decision does so by assessing consequence risk, effort, and reward, these are the universal factors that go into human decision making, thus by that definition all humans are going their own way. What happens in our current reality is that women are taught that earning an income is the only measure of their worth, and it's only when they have children they realize how very wrong that is. Men are also taught that earning an income is the only measure of their worth, and when they have children, that is generally confirmed for them. The most important thing a man with children can do is protect them. We don't live on the savanna in grass huts anymore, so hunting down predatory lions isn't on the daily calendar for most men. Modern life requires a man to hunt down money. Yeah, no adherence or advocacy of the traditional division of labor in that statement, right? Modern life requires a man to hunt down money, and a man who is convinced of his job as walking ATM, and indulges in this role with pride, is a man going his own way. According to Janet and AVFM, give me a fucking break. Also, I loved the usage of grammar you will see on her blog, in reference to this, she keeps calling a man's disposable role as ATM, an act of protecting and providing and loving his family, his loved ones, you mean his wife, a man pays for his wife's free ride, pays off her tuition mistakes, pays for her children that he barely has any part in raising, and will be taken from him instantly in a divorce, a man pays for all of this. And here this bitch is rewarding this voluntary disposability with a pat on the back, an ego stroke, and reminder that he is a good man for protecting and providing for his family, and because he's aware of the risks, which I don't think he actually gets it, he is totally going his own way, but there you have it folks, the nail in the coffin, modern life requires a man to hunt down money, and the thing is, you know if someone were to tweet that quote of hers, claiming this is what Janet Bloomfield thinks a man's role in life is to hunt down money to support his wife. You just know she'd scream bloody murder about that being taken out of context somehow, so again, I am begging everyone to click the link, read this blog entry, 
and get the 100% full context. This crazy, off a rocker, fucking dingbat, says shit like modern life requires a man to hunt down money, in regards to gender roles. Then stands the sucking her thumb all clueless as to why people are calling her a traditionalist, and to make it worse, you got Paul Elam and Dean Ismay defending this shit by saying oh those are just rumors started, by John Hembling being manipulated by the evil jealous crazy Diana Davison, pay no mind to them, those are just quotes out of context, just statements she made before calling herself an MRA, again, in regards to gender roles, Janet said in this blog post modern life requires a man to hunt down money. If I am taking that out of context, someone read that goddamn blog post and explain the context I'm not getting. Radical feminism hates femininity, and despises women who would rather stay home and raise happy, healthy families, and radical MIGTO hates masculinity, and despises men who would rather work to provide for their happy, healthy families being raised at home. Isn't that just a match made in heaven? So here she is with the MIGTO is just as bad as the feminist shtick, oh! and we hate masculinity, right, be sure to remind us of that when we are criticizing women, and thus their feminine behavior, oh and Janet, do remind us that feminism hates masculinity, like you've said in older blog posts, according to these traditionalists, sometimes either MIGTO or feminism hates masculinity, other times feminism and or MIGTO hates femininity, whenever it's convenient for the argument, oh and when I say MIGTO, I mean as actual MIGTO, not the traditionalists going their own way, which is the same way as everyone else, but I'm tired of rebutting this semantic sleight of hand they're using against us, this retarded argument they're using, that MIGTO has to mean what the traditionalists at AVFM say it means, because if we insist that traditionalism and MIGTO are not compatible directions, that's not really going your own way, that's going someone else's way, it's basically, MIGTO can be going the traditional way, and if you say not, well then, that's just forcing people to go your way, ha ha, that's a contradiction, you pig toes are just like the social justice warriors, this stupid argument they have reminds me of that really stupid argument left wing extremists would use when mocking the notion of America being a free country, they'd say I have to pay my rent, because houses aren't free, some free country this is, I have to pay a toll to use the bridge, I thought this was a free country, I have to pay for food or the country lets me starve, so much for being a free country, it's that silly fucking shit they're doing, it's a ridiculous semantic argument, and I can't waste any more energy rebutting this fucking semantic sleight of hand, and if you read what she is saying here, it's that feminists oppose the traditional division of labor, MIGTO opposes the traditional division of labor, therefore feminism and MIGTO are just like each other, and I am going to reveal two obvious things here, first, two groups of people that both oppose traditionalism, are bound to have at least the overlap that they both oppose traditionalism, brilliant, you're fucking brilliant to pick up on that, and the second thing is, the only people who would be offended by us two groups opposing traditionalism would be, traditionalists, you stupid fucking cunt for brains, I've said it over a year ago and I'll say it again, the only people who say you're as bad as the feminists are traditionalists, and these traditionalist scumbags are every bit as white knight and gynocentric as any male feminist. Migto's screeching about what a lazy whore I am, and how much I clearly hate men and think they are cash dispensers are, in fact, insulting my husband and his choices. We'll get into that in just a moment. Hang on to your little hats, radical MIGTOs. I'm quitting the PhD. I will stand happily on the sidelines and cheer my husband onwards and we will both have exactly what we want. She had cited that her husband is getting a new job, or an alteration of his job, and her working would limit his working options. Don't fucking ask why, I think all of her kids are old enough to stay home by themselves, and I guess it's in regards to the distressing issue of who will pop food in the oven every day, who fucking knows. I love how this sacrifice is phrased on her blog, as being an altruistic thing, when in reality she also makes it clear she doesn't want to follow through with the degree and work, so what we have is a case of a woman doing what she wants, and basically convincing her simpleton husband it is in his best interest and the best interest of the family. Women are famous for pulling this shit, making choices they want, while convincing their husband that it was really his choice all along, and you can just tell her husband is one of these simpletons who fall for that shit, after all, he has paid off her student loan debt when he married her, or at least I gather as much from what I've heard, and then has provided for her this whole time, and then has put up the money for her to return for a PhD that she has now dropped out of, this guy is paying for any and every mistake the bitch makes, providing her a safety net for mistakes and a life of endless options, Janet makes choices, he pays for her choices, 
and has himself convinced these are his choices, women like Janet do what women do best, make their selfishness look altruistic, convince their easily manipulated men into thinking he's in charge, and ultimately justifying their privileges insisting it's good for the family, and some of the supporting comments on the blog, just really help put this shit into perspective, one of her commenters quotes a piece from the blog and says this, laughing out loud, okay, this was really funny, is it true you have refused a job for 100k per year so you can continue to exploit your husband? I delight in exploiting my husband and he sure doesn't seem too upset about it. You know why? Because he's sheep. Oh I'm sorry, he's sheep going his own way. Yeah if AVFM is going to call us pigs going our own way, then they're sheep going their own way. Fuck it, we're not a men's movement, we're an animal rights movement by this point, you know? AVFM is just looking more and more like a voice for housewives, and that's really what's going on here, and it's all because of us radical pig toe, when the MRM consisted of nothing but belly aching Republican types stating that feminism was bad because it was Marxist, and women need to get in the kitchen and submit to their husbands like Proverbs says, these fucking rejects were laughed at by women, and had only once in a while a token female, whose primary concern was something like I hate feminism because I need a real man. Then comes men just straight up walking away from this shit and saying nope, I'm done, ladies, go marry your fucking cats and collect your welfare, I'm out, these men were migto, now you got women pouring into the men's movement, and defending the sanctity of their stay at home entitlement, and stroking men's traditionalist conservative republican cocks, reminding men how fucking awesome they are for building everything, doing everything, protecting women at their own expense, and providing for their women and family, and how they're the real men going their own way, not like these misogynist radical pig toes who are just as bad as the feminists, and these men, so desperate to find a new Walt, too old to change, afraid there are no new Walts, and too willfully ignorant to look beyond the lens of their right-wing extremist worldview, are falling for this shit, hook line and sinker, to put this in perspective, how many of you men out there wish you could live a life where all of your college mistakes were paid for by a woman? You got to sit home with your kids, and mostly just sit around watching TV and video games, while she pays you to do this, and you're set for life, I think most of us would enjoy that, God knows these women do, and that's why they are hanging on to this lifestyle choice for dear life, and don't want anyone rocking that boat, this is why we have all these women pouring into AVFM, looking out for their free ride entitlement, and convincing men that adhering to their disposable role is totally going their own way, and those who disagree are radicals just like the feminists, a voice for men, more like a voice for housewives, anyhow, you people go to her blog, give it a good read, and let me know what you think, also, I should point out, she has a mock dialogue with me, where she make believe writes my accusations against her, that she mockingly agrees with, just in case anyone is confused, it's fictional, and I never asked her those questions, she confesses this much, but her style of writing is so fucking confusing and nonsensical, I felt I needed to clear that up, also, I want to clear up a misunderstanding about something I said in my last video, I talked about the comments in those videos where discussing that these commercials sucked because it was blatantly obvious they were trying to sell it with sex, and that this was exploitative to men, or something like that, I had a few people write and say that is not what they seen in the comments, ok, I want to try to clarify what I meant, the bulk of the discussion in those comments are as you'd expect on any video of that nature, the one with Chevy Colorado, is a bunch of Chevy vs Ford mudslinging, what else would you expect, and on the MSI commercials and Ezra commercials, the comments centered mostly around why this or that motherboard company sucks and why they go with Ace Sus or Biostar, in other words tech talk and brand name loyalty mudslinging, as you'd expect, when I talked about the men in the comments being dissatisfied with having their cock teased or male identity catered to in order to be manipulated into buying a product, what I mean is, when you look at the comments, the comments surrounding the topic of why this commercial sucks outside the normal techie griping and brand loyalty style comments, they are focused on dissatisfaction with the manipulative style of advertising. But mostly I am emphasizing the down votes are not because the product was freakishly bad, or faulty, nor was the down voting a bunch of a pity feminists griping about objectification, and that is what I was trying to express, but the majority of the comments were typical techie gossip and brand name loyalty mudslinging that you'd expect in any other commercial for those products and to be fair there were arguments with men giving thumbs up because there was nothing wrong with hot bitches in commercials, and others bitching that it was a stupid and rubbish technique to sell it with sex, again, I was just trying to briefly explain that the down votes weren't because the products were bad, or because of feminists hollering about objectification, anyhow, 
Go read Janet's arguments against my trial videos that she confesses she didn't watch. You have to read the dumb shit, total foot in mouth, if you ask me.